Okay, okay, folks, we're back live here in the Bond Park Community Center for the North American Championship, and we have the third heat of the te men's team's finals. This one is a doubles match between Xavier Therian from Canada and Pierre-Luc Theriot from Canada against Kunal Chaudhry and Grant Lee. Now, Chaudhry is our number four seed cadet in this tournament, and he's teaming up with Grant Lee, the number five senior men. So a little bit of an unusual matchup, but uh, hopefully fresher legs, more energy, uh, and we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, we'll check and see. I think in this team tie, it was, uh, you know, on paper, it was a pretty hotly contested match, but I think most people thought the Canadians were uh, a little bit the favorite, and they find themselves down 2-0 to some hard-fighting Americans. Adam Hugh pulling out the first singles match and Grant Lee pulling out the second one, both in very, very close, tight, high-pressure matches. And so now the Canadians trying to get on the scoreboard here in the doubles. And again, on paper, they're the favorites, but we just have to see how it plays out. They're up 5-2 here in the first game. These two from Canada are the number one and the number two seeds in the entire draw from either side. So this is, this is Canada's top talent here uh, at this juncture. And doubles is a little bit of a different game than singles, so sometimes two very good singles players don't match up very well together in doubles, but they, uh, the Canadians do have the advantage of having a right-hander and a left-hander, which comes into an advantage in doubles. It's easier to stay out of each other's way, especially as you see here on the service return by the left-hander. Yep. And the U.S. making a little charge here. As I've been talking about how much they don't have a chance, they've come from a 5-2 deficit to tie it at 5-all. Yeah, well, it's like you say, though. You know, just because you're, you're skilled in singles doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be the same level at, in doubles. Yeah, some players are and some are not. Yep. You just have to wait and see what happens. Well, and some pairs yep. play with each other and others don't. That's right. Oh, great shot by Jodry. Yes, absolutely. The youngest player at the table by far. Oh, wow. Wow, great hands by the Canadians. Yep, yep. Got the ball back even though it was high. Chaudhry was uh, kind of blocked out behind Grant Lee. Didn't have much time to react even though it was a fairly easy ball if it had been singles. That was a little off-pace ball. You usually expect uh, big, powerful shots, and that ball came over kind of slow. It's like a slow pitch in baseball. Timing's just off. Canadians back up by two. Oh, wow. Great shot by Therio that Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Well executed service return off a tough serve by Grant Lee. Grant Lee will be serving now, the more experienced of the two American players. Getting their signal straight. Oh, gee, fabulous return by left-hander. Interesting in the this le elite level of doubles or men's team, it's not the, the server necessarily calling the shot on what he wants to do, it's the other one. Yeah, that's right, if you server. Uh, yeah. The guy who's going to be receiving the serve return back uh, may give the server a hint as to what kind of serve to do so he knows a little better what kind of ball will be returned and he'll be ready for that yeah. third ball attack. Not to happen in that match as the favorites, the Canadians, come out with a fairly easy 11-7 win in the first game.
So back off camera with uh, the, the doubles team playing and the teammate and the coach. It looks like a little council meeting back there as everybody's trying to get their two cents worth of advice in. Team Canada to serve. Here comes underspin. Nope. <laughs> Swami predicted the right. <laughs> Or I just saw the hand signal, one of the two. I can't imagine which. I guess we have to be careful about that. I always wondered at some point, since we're streaming things now these days, if the uh, opposition on various teams is going to get wise and start having a, you know, a little iPod or something connected up oh. to the Internet so they can hear the announcers on what they're saying. Watching the streaming <laughs> and from the back end of the yeah. table and seeing the opponent's servo signal. And not, that, not that we necessarily know more than they do. Actually, we surely don't. But uh, they be, may be having right. some uh, e enigma secret device uh, right. interpreting their there we go. signals and stuff like that. Okay, one serving and three. Amazingly short drop shot. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That Unbelievable. Just, wow. It's just such Precision. So soft hands to control the ball and the spin that precisely. And then That's another one. Still having, still having the power to unload on a ball when you get a one that you can take some aggressive action against. Everybody goes to the laundry hamper to get a little yeah. sweat wiped off. Big discussion down there in the U.S. team before that serve. Apparently, it got the right result. Yeah. Well, we're neck and neck here in the second game. Um, right idea, just didn't connect though. Not that time. Yeah. Good hands, Canadians hanging in that point. U.S. might have had a couple of opportunities to get a little more aggressive shots in and chose to control the point and ended up paying the price. Oh, that one flew right off the racket. and learn too for the viewing audience watching this doubles match regardless of the spin that's put or lack thereof that's put on the ball in the service virtually every serve is short you don't really want to put a ball midway down the court or even deep in doubles because the recipient will unload on it yeah you don't there's the, the, the ball has to be served cross court so it has to land in the other half just like in tennis, and uh, if you if you cut down 50% of the uh, potential places the ball is going to go, you're just ready 
for it. So the serve always has to stay short. Yep. It's just almost a requirement. You almost never get away with a long serve, especially in doubles. And we're back to eight to eight here in game two. A little bit of a flurry there by the U.S. to bring it back. Let's see if they can keep this momentum up. Very nice loop. Well done. Good shot by Chaudhry, the younger player. To the credit of Grant Lee's savvy service return, which kept the Canadians from opening up. And there it is again, short ball. Ooh, Chaudhry yeah. missed that one, but he yeah. went for the right ball. Yep. Pair of now, nines here. Now we're second. at nines. Grant Lee is serving. So we'll see if he's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve or whether he can get a ball that Chaudhry can loop on. It seems like he's giving Chaudhry the choice of serve, letting Chaudhry signal. Very nice over the table yep. shot by the youngster. So one more serve for the U.S. a game point. And the Canadians, very offensive, took some chances there. Had to get three strong loops into the U.S. before they could win that point. Canadians bring it to Deuce. Oh, great return of serve. Again, Chaudhry pulling out some really extraordinarily good shots now. So Grant Lee telling him what he wants. There it oh, is. Oh, very good. One-two punch by Lee and Chaudhry of the U.S. bringing the match even at one game to one game. The U.S. is on the scoreboard. We won't say it's an incredible surprise against the top seeds in the tournament, but we'll be very happy with that result, at least at this juncture. Well said. Starting out game three, U.S. gets a first mark on the scoreboard. Played by the Canadians. One, three. One, four.
Canadians doing everything right at this moment. U.S. won the first point in this game, and since then they've been blanked. Yep. They got to get some offense generated here at this point. That always helps. That, that's, and we, we'll give him an assist for that. Just like that, 3-5. That was a little last minute creativity sliding his racket across that ball by Grant Lee. Oh, look at there. He drove that home downtown. Yeah, took a soft ball wide to his forehand. Like staring into the mouth of the tiger. Canadians coming back. Oh, no, I missed I miss that. Five all. Five, five, yeah. So U.S. on a little bit of a stretch here, a little run. Wow, as it continues. That's a good, shot. good reverse yeah. back cross court by the Canadians. Yeah. So the points go one, one for the U.S. Five straight for Canada. Five straight for the U.S. Now one for Canada. Ends up after all that arithmetic at six all. No, wasn't quite there. That, was, that ball was pushed a little bit too short. Yep. Grant didn't have quite enough room to put anything and put enough on that ball. A big spin. Chaudhry couldn't control it. Six Canada. Same thing. Yeah. Little extra underspin on that serve. Absolutely. Nice ball, slide, nice ball sliding down the line. Yep. And the Canadians come up with the second game, 11-6. Third. Third game. Yep. Well, they, they're up two games to one. Correct. Winning, winning the third game, 11-6. And once again, Canada wins two games in a relative runaway, 11-7, 11-6. And one game U.S. pulled out was a deuce. So if your Team USA, Coach Stefan Feth, must be telling them, play like you did in game, game number two. two. That's right. <laughs> Only don't make it so right. close. <laughs> Looks like they're getting ready for a group hug over there. Another council meeting or a powwow right. over there. Umpire calls time. Everybody gets a last second high five.
a fairly easy looking topspin serve and Chaudhry countered the ball with a little bit of topspin but it wasn't a forceful enough shot and the Canadians ate it for lunch. Yeah. Oh, good reflexes there. Pierre Luke did a really good job going to that ball and getting it back and keeping it in play. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaudhry landed one deep on the baseline. Yep. Might have gotten not quite a totally clean bounce. Uh, too high. Can't do that. Well, you can, but you're going to pay the price. Well, that's true. Plus sales tax. <laughs> Plus a service charge. So Team USA with a three to one lead. Canada serving it up. Right, see again, too nice. short, not nice. enough there to get to to loop it back. Yeah, nice touch return. Yep. Good ball control. A little too much spin from the Canadians. Yeah. Great looping for both of them. Yeah. Chaudhry blocked that ball a little bit long. He's used to seeing a pretty good amount of spin in the cadets and the juniors, but when you get up to the big leads, it's a little heavier. Wow. Canute Canal hit, hits that with authority. Yeah, I think Heavy he, topspin didn't bother him. Yeah, I think he caught the edge on that smash as well. Hmm. Very nice reflexes nice. there by Canal Chaudhry. Yeah. Kept it alive. Gives the U.S. a lead now of four points. Another one. The wheels seem to be coming apart here for Team Canada in this game. They've got to regroup and figure out you know, what it is they need to do to fight back. Now, one thing to mention, too, in the games, every, every game you alternate who you receive the ball from and hit to. So in one game, you have one order of play. In the second game, it alternates. So the Canadians win the first game when there's a certain order. The U.S. won the next game when it was reversed. Next game, we're back to the first order. The Canadians won that game. And now we're back to the order where the U.S. prevailed in game two. And look at this, the U.S. with a 9-3 to three lead here in game number four. When you do something like this and you close the game out, you need to make sure you don't come into game five too overconfidently. Yeah. And also in game five, you will switch the order of play when the first team gets to five. So you get the same amount of playing time in each order of, uh, of play. So the U.S. would end up in game five with the same order that they're playing now where they won that game 11 to three. They have to just hope. They just have to hope that they don't fall too far behind in the first half of the fifth game until they get the order that works better for them just like it did in that game. You know, it's interesting. I wonder how many people that play doubles actually know all of that, what you said about, you know, the switching and this and that and the other. I mean, it's such a confusing thing. Most players, especially at the lower levels that I've played, don't have a clue. They honestly don't. Right. I mean, at this level, you're used to it and you understand it and the umpires do. But uh, sometimes you see the umpires with a piece of paper writing down who serves to who yeah. and who served first in the match and 
who serves first in the second game and who the receiver is. And at the beginning of some games, if the players are a little confused, the umpires have to go back to the playbook to kind of refigure yeah. out how it started and how they need to do the upcoming game. But so far in this uh, tournament, uh, the umpiring has just been extraordinarily good and consistent. Haven't Absolutely. had any player arguments and uh, uh, well, Chief Referee France. Larry Kessler's been keeping tabs on everybody, making sure the umpires are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And so far, all the umpires are marching to the drum here. So we're starting out here game five with allegedly the bad order for the U.S. Oh. And the bad serve. And the bad serve. Maybe we'll get that point behind us. Uh, good hands by Young Chaudhry. Back to one apiece. <laughs> I'll try to go for a little too much angle on that return. Stroke was a little too stiff for good ball control. Well, this, th at this point, I would almost consider, almost consider calling a timeout. U.S. has got to focus at this point right now. This is for all the marbles here. The last game, they're down by two. Yes, it's early in the match, but make sure they get the right perspective on what they need to do between now and the 11th point. Yeah, we'll see if that would uh, pay off here. U.S. fortunately won, won the last point. Well, there we go. Tied the three up. Huh? And another one. So we're tied at three. Coaching squad over in the corner on their feet, offering a little bit of positive enthusiasm and support for our team. I think they're pleasantly surprised that U.S. is in a tie here with a bad order. A couple of shots here, Chaudhry's showing a little bit of the youthful nerves and trying to do a little too much with a couple of shots. Canada up 4-3. Oh, good point, good shot there by the youngster. Four, it four the cross net court. And set it up. It was a lucky break for the U.S. Yep. So now the worst they can be down at the change is by one point, and they might be ahead. Chaudhry saying, I want this, giving the signal under the table. There it is. Oh. It's that, that Grant, very, Lee, Grant Lee forehand coming through right in the clutch. But that very, very good ball control. He kept the ball very short. Chaudhry did. You could see the Canadian winding up for a big forehand. The ball came a little bit short, and he had to stop that stroke, reach in to push it at the last minute, and it created a setup for Grant Lee's forehand. So at the turn here, the U.S. has a one-point lead in this fifth and deciding game. And the order of receiving has served, has changed. So we'll see if the U.S. can consolidate this. Oh, what a, what a drop Ooh. shot. Bad Amazing by Javier, Xavier, pardon me. Yeah. I know too many friends named Javier. <laughs> Sometimes old habits die yes, hard. That's true. Good open by Kunal Chaudhry, but the Canadians were ready with the right quick block response. Now the Canadians have won two straight. Oh, that was a short shot. Chaudhry tried to do yeah. a little too much with those two serves. Say we got Chaudhry serving. If he can get a little bit of a loose ball for Grant Lee, Grant ought to be able to finish it off. 
Oh my goodness. Well. Canadians made a great return. Grant Lee saved it and then Canadians missed an easy one. Boy, that's two great flicks over the table. Yeah. Canada still up by two here in the fifth game. Felt the chi, but the ball didn't connect. Yep. Okay, we've got a timeout now by. I would see. say probably U.S., but we'll see. Negative, Canada. Yeah, timeout for Canada. They yep. got a, got that tenuous one-point lead. And that may and surprise some people that, that, a, that a team in the lead would take a timeout, but it's actually much more common than you would might expect. And we've seen that several times here in the last few matches. And, uh, well, the other thing that's on the line here is if the Canadians can't win this game, they're going to lose this game, they're going to lose this match, and they're going to lose the entire team tie. That's right. The, the whole ball of wax is on so the line here for them. That's right. They're trying to be very, very careful. In this team event, for those of you joining us late, the U.S. Uh, leads 2-0. to zero. And this is the third heat in that event. And if the U.S. pulls it off, that would be a 3-0 sweep and end the team competition. If not, it'll go to a fourth game, and if necessary, a fifth. Fifth event, I should say, and fifth, yeah, fifth match. And so far, a little bit surprising in this tournament. The U.S. has won the under-18 girls team championship and the under-18 boys championship. So this would indeed be a very happy moment for the U.S. And there it is, eight to eight. Team USA getting reignited here. So the Canadian timeout paid dividends for the U.S. team. And right now locked up at eight all, doing a little consulting here on the serve and the return. Grant Lee to serve. Oh, how about that? Oh, man, got a little lucky break on the net, Young Chaudhry. Yeah. Saw the net and went for it. Kissed it on the way over, changed <laughs> the timing, won the point. Right. Yeah, so U.S. up 9-8. Oh, what a return. Oh, great <laughs> shot by Chaudhry. I can't believe that. Man, that's two great shots. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians went for very, very wide returns off the serve and did get them very, very wide. But They were patting themselves but, on the back on that one, and it's like, how did he get to that ball? It well, was, he had to work his way around Grant Lee all the way around yeah. the side of the table yeah. and come in for a cross court, but he really played very, very smart, savvy shots for a young player. The ball was down below the table, table. height, oh, and got he great spin it back it. up over the net. It's amazing. Well, wow, good move uh, there for Team Canada. And Chaudhry made a nice offensive move, but it went right into the wheelhouse of the Canadians, and yeah. Grant Lee couldn't cover enough ground to to get that ball. So Team Grant's USA. giving Chaudhry some advice right now. We'll see if he can get get the right result. Oh, that and was the match point, but no dice. Over the table, flip down the line for a winner. So now we are at Deuce in the fifth. Deuce again. Oh, oh boy. Uh -oh. A lot of pressure. Uh, Chaudhry tried to, or Grant Lee tried to do too much with that one. So now the Canadians have a point for this match. Oh, great Five. block again by the youngster. He's made some fairly straightforward mistakes, but those two balls returned on serve cross court. He did just miraculous returns, and that was a wonderful shot he made there. So we're back at Deuce. A 
and the Canadians. They're not bending but, over and dying. They're in this fight. Right. One point advantage, 12 to 11 in the fifth. Match point for the Canadians this time. Oh, and there it is. Oh, and there it goes. Team Canada the pulls it out. Heavy top spin. Chaudhry could not quite wow. handle and control that spin, but a great match. Deuce in the fifth. The Canadians hang in this team tie I'll tell by you winning what, the doubles. You know, it's up two to one.